How do you format your comic? I'm going to give you the rundown on what you need when setting up your comic book page. Greetings everyone, welcome to the underground lair where we bring our creations to life. I'm Scott with Surfboards Art Labs. I'm a professional illustrator, designer, and mad creator because you know you have to be a little crazy to do this thing called art. Speaking of crazy, one of the things that drives a lot of artists crazy is formatting your comic page. I get asked questions about this all the time. One of the questions I get is, is there a specific comic format? Comics come in all shapes and sizes. It's important for an artist to know up front what size the comic will be printed at. American single issues, they usually have a standard size. This is what we usually refer to as a floppy comic. Collections, trades are usually based on this same size and have the same dimension. And, you know, of course, this is the printed size, but what size do you draw at? Is there a standard size? Yes and no. Most artists who create standard American comics draw on an 11 by 17 inch artboard similar to this. Working larger allows you to create more detail in your pages, and they tend to look a little cleaner when reduced to the printed size. However, there is a risk of losing some of that detail when the line art is reduced. I typically work at this size, 11 by 17, and that goes for when I'm working traditionally or digitally. If you work digitally, you also need to be aware of your resolution. I work at around 300 dpi or dots per inch, which is the minimum for print quality. You can work at 600 dpi, assuming your computer can handle a larger file size. It's a good idea to work at a higher resolution than your book will be printed at because you never know printing technology can advance or what future uses you might want to use your art for. For instance, if you wanted to print a poster or a Comic-Con banner using art from one of your pages. Because while you can reduce the pages without any loss of resolution, you can't increase the size without it starting to look pixelated. You always want to consider how your art might be reproduced in the future, even if you're a webcomic artist. On-screen graphics are typically at a lower resolution than print, but I would urge you to work at a higher resolution like 300 or 600 DPI even if right now you're only planning on publishing on the web. So something to think about when working digitally. With traditional art, like I said, I work at 11 by 17 inches. This is why I work at 300 dpi, because even though that's on the lower end of print resolution, a standard American comic prints at 6.63 inches by 10.24 inches, or 16.8 centimeters by 26 centimeters. So because I'm drawing at a larger size, I can bump up the resolution to 600 dpi when I reduce it to the smaller print size. Another reason why I work at 11 by 17 inches is because it's common, and it's what the majority of other artists at least here in America, work at. So just it makes it it just makes it simple when I give a page to somebody. Uh, it might be something also to consider if you're selling your original art because one of the main reasons for working traditionally is art sales. Collectors may have a preference for the size of page they collect. Not to mention if you're working with a publisher, they may have a preferred size they want you to work at. Also, who knows, down the road a publisher may want to print an actual size like in an artist edition and it's always a good idea to work in a common format. Now all of this isn't to say that you can't work at a different size. My friend Joshua Kimball, he prefers to work at a much larger size and as you can see his pages are beautiful and I think collectors would eat this up too at this size. There are advantages to working smaller. Many artists find they can speed up their production time by working at actual size or maybe even a little larger. After all, the larger the page the more time it will take to complete. These are all important things to keep in mind. Just remember the size you work at is your preference. What is important is that your proportions are correct. Here's a simple tip you can use to make sure your proportions are always correct. Take the printed size of your comic and with a straight edge draw a diagonal line from the bottom left corner to the top right corner of the page. 
Now, any place you divide your page will be in the correct proportions. Now, there are other things to keep in mind in addition to the size of your page, like bleed and trim area. The bleed is where your art extends all the way past the area to be trimmed so that when it's printed, the art extends to the edge of the page. Make sure that nothing important ever appears between your live or safe area and the trim or bleed area because it will likely get cut off. All of your word balloons and captions should stay within the live area. Unless you purposely want your panels or sound effects to bleed off the edge, they should be contained in the live area as well. I have a number of digital products on my website that have different templates that you can use for creating comics. There's a free template that's included in the Comic Maker Starter Kit. That's also available on my website at cirqueworks.com. There's probably a link in the description. I self-publish, but if you're working with a publisher, you always want to find out what template they prefer. You don't want to give your publisher a bunch of extra work reformatting your book, and many publishers require you to adhere to their standards before they're even going to accept your work. So I hope this information helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. But I just want to put this out there because I get so many questions about comics, formatting, pages, actual size of comics, if there's a standard. And like I said, there really isn't in most places here in the United States. States, there is sort of a format but that can vary wherever you go so just make sure you know you know what your publisher is printing at or if you're self-publishing uh, I, I like to just go with the standard American because it's familiar it fits in the you know it's not going to be too big to fit in like bags and boards and things like that for collectors so just something to keep in mind but in actuality there is really no specific format just go with whatever creatively works best for you if you want to be on the safe side then you can go with that 11 by 17 and reduce it to that standard US comic size but anyway that's all I got to talk about today I will see you guys later that is all hey thanks for watching if you like what you saw and you want to see more hit that subscribe button also you can follow me at Cirqueworks on social media and now you can support the work that I do on patreon do you like making comics then go to Cirqueworks.com and pick up the comic maker starter kit it's packed full of fonts brushes templates and more and best of all it's totally free